All right, so moving along in our discussion of geometric dimensioning and tolerancing tolerances of form, these four guys here, we have covered straightness, we've covered flatness, and in this video we are going to discuss circularity. And this is sometimes called roundness. Now, <clears throat> circularity in its simplest form, we will use an example of a cylinder. So here we have a cylinder, this isometric view. And in the side view of the cylinder, it's dimensioned as two inches in diameter, and it has a GD and T tolerance symbol of roundness. And then once again, we have a tolerance value in the tolerance block of ten thousandths of an inch. And what round? So what the way this would be read again is it's a two-inch diameter cylinder, and it must be round or circular within ten thousandths of an inch and the way that is applied it's shown here if if we were to cut a cross section at any place along the length of this cylinder and then examine that cross section the cross section here of the cylinder is shown, I've shown it in green, okay? So this is our cylinder, or our, our part. Okay, now, <clears throat> can think of circularity tolerance in a similar way as straightness. So we've taken a section at uh, any point along the length of this cylinder and we've represented it here and now the tolerance is applied whereas in, w when we were looking at straightness the tolerance was two lines that were separated by an amount equal to the tolerance value when we talk about circularity it's the tolerance zone is defined by two circles two concentric circles which are separated by the tolerance value, which in this case is ten thousandths of an inch. So here we have our our cylinder, which is shown a cross section as a circle, and that's nominally it's two inches in diameter, right? The circularity tolerance zone then is a total of ten thousandths of an inch. So this tolerance of circularity tells us that the actual part can vary from a perfectly circular cross section but only by an amount that will fit in this ten thousandths of an inch band. So our the outside of our cylinder could look like this. right it could look like this more of a lobed shape it could have um, it could even have flats as long as they exist within that band that ten thousandths wide tolerance zone that purple part would be intolerant okay now if if it were to uh, let's say this area here
it were to come outside, it would obviously be out of tolerance right here. Okay? So, just to conceptualize the idea of roundness, it is similar to straightness, but we define a circular tolerance zone. <clears throat> now, that roundness tolerance would apply along the entire length of this cylinder. Okay, so it, we would cut a section here, here, anywhere along the length of this cylinder. Okay, and again, that tolerance is independent of the size. Okay, the size is applied separately, but when we're looking at roundness specifically, we are looking at each individual slice of this cylinder and examining the resulting section or circular cross section to ensure that it fits within this 10 thousandths of an inch tolerance band. Now, what types of shapes does roundness apply to? Well, again, it would apply to our cone. Okay, here we have a same roundness call out. So in that case, if we were to take sections anywhere along the axis of the cone, the center axis of the cone, right, that circle and that section would have to be round within ten thousandths of an inch, as we just discussed, and we could cut sections anywhere and examine that. Another example is a sphere. Now in the case of a sphere, um, sometimes it'll be referred to as sphericity. And again, we would cut a cross section through the center of the sphere. And that resulting circle would have to lie between this these two circles, concentric circles, and the distance between them once again is ten thousandths of an inch. Alright? And that can be applied you would you would cut those cross sections anywhere on that sphere. And it would be subject to this ten thousandths of an inch tolerance here. And the last example of a shape would be a pipe. Here we have a pipe <clears throat> that's bent, some sort of a pipe fitting, right? And uh, if that were drawn, this is a top view of that pipe. And uh, you can see we have a, the outside diameter of the pipe is dimensioned inch and a half. And it's got the same roundness tolerance of ten thousandths of an inch. Okay, so we've cut a section here at the end of the pipe, section AA, which is shown down here. And now the outside diameter of that pipe would be subject to that same tolerance band, tolerance zone of ten thousandths of an inch. And again, this would apply along the full length of this pipe with sections that being cut perpendicular to the center axis of the pipe. All right, so we could cut a section here, we could cut a section here. Anywhere we check this pipe, it would have to meet the ten thousandths of an inch circularity requirement. And I would just note that again, this is irrespective of or I should say the circular circularity tolerance does not define orientation or size. It is strictly concerned with the circularity or the form of this diameter. So and that's illustrated by this pipe example because obviously the pipe if it were straight it would be a cylinder. In this case we're still applying a ten thousandths of an inch circularity tolerance but obviously this is not a straight cylinder. This is a cylinder that's been 
wrapped around a curved center line. So by definition, roundness does not control the straightness of the center axis of the object that's being tolerance. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So that is it for roundness.